Is this the camera that finally ends the megapixel war? Or is it just another incremental update? Welcome back to Tap Tech, where we peel back the curtain on the most secretive releases in the gadget world. Today we are diving deep into the one camera every landscape and studio photographer has been begging for, Nikon Z7 III. For months, the rumors have been swirling. Some say it's been canceled. Others say it's about to redefine the high resolution category. But after digging through the latest industry leaks, patent filings, and supply chain whispers for 2026, we finally have a clear picture of what Nikon is brewing. If you think the Z8 was impressive, wait until you hear what Nikon has planned for the resolution king. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why this camera might be the first to feature technology you've never seen in a mirrorless body before. Asterisk, let's get straight to the heart of the estrogen. Matter the sensor. For years, the Z7 series has sat at the 45 megapixel mark. But the industry has moved on, with Sony pushing 61 megapixels and rumors of even higher counts from other rivals. Nikon had to swing big. The most credible leaks point to a brand new 67 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor. But here's the kicker. It's rumored to be a partially stacked architecture. Why does that matter? means you get the insane detail of a higher race sensor without the agonizingly slow readout speeds that usually plague them. We're talking about significantly reduced rolling shutter and a burst rate that could jump to 14 or even 20 frames per second in RAW. For the landscape photographers watching, Nikon is reportedly introducing a native ISO 32 base. If true, this would provide a level of dynamic range and clean shadows that could rival medium format systems. Imagine pulling detail out of a sunset foreground with zero noise that is the promise of the Z7iii. Asterisk now. Here is something nobody saw coming. Following Nikon's acquisition of Red Digital Cinema, Z7iii is expected to be one of the first stills first cameras to truly inherit Hollywood grade. Color science. While the Z8 and Z9 are the video flagships, the Z7iii is being positioned. As the ultimate hybrid for those who need resolution, we are looking at internal 8K 6OP recording, and for the first time in this line, the inclusion of UnRAW and ProRace, RAW internally. But it's not just about the specs. It's about the look. Rumors suggest a red color profile built directly into the picture control menu. This means you could potentially match your beer roll from a Z7 III perfectly with a high-end red veer after. For premium content creators, this is a total game changer. Asterisk, if you've used the Z7 II. You know the autofocus was good, but it wasn't Z8 good. That is about to change. The Z7 III is confirmed to house the XP7 processor, but with a twist. Early reports suggest an updated AI deep learning. Chip that handles subject recognition. We aren't just talking about eyes and faces anymore. The Z7 III is rumored to have a dedicated architectural mode that can recognize leading lines and planes to ensure maximum sharpness across a building's facade. For wildlife shooters, the bird detection has been refined to track eyes through. Dense foliage with a hit rate that finally matches the flagship Z9. Asterix Nikon knows their audience. Professionals in the US and Europe often complain about the ergonomics of tiny mirrorless cameras. The Z7 III is expected to be slightly meatier than its predecessor. Not quite a Z8, but with a deeper grip and a much improved thermal management. System, the most exciting physical change, the EVF. We're hearing reports of a 5.76 million panel with a record breaking. 4,000 nits of brightness. If you've ever tried to shoot in the bright midday sun of the California desert or the Alps, you know how crucial a bright viewfinder is. This will be, quite literally, the brightest window into your image ever made. Asterisk, you might be asking, why? Not just buy a Sony A7 RV or a Canon R5 II right now? It's a fair question. Those are incredible tools. But Nikon is playing a different game with the Z7 III. They are focusing on image integrity. While Sony focuses on sheer speed and Canon on autofocus stickiness, Nikon is doubling down on the Nikon look that specific color science and lens sharpness from the S-line glass that simply can't be replicated. Furthermore, the Z7 III is 
rumored to include a pixel shift high erase mode that can produce 200 megapixel files, but unlike previous versions, this one is said to have motion compensation built in, meaning you could use it for landscapes where leaves are blowing in the wind without getting those weird artifacts asterisk now for the part that hurts. The price. High-end tech isn't cheap. Given the upgrades to the sensor and the RED integration, industry analysts expect the Nikon Z7 IIA to launch at approximately ID999 dollars to 3,299 United States dollars. While that's a step up from the Z7 II's launch price, but undercuts the Z8 while offering higher resolution. As for the release date, keep your calendars marked for late Q1 or early Q2 of 2026. Production is reportedly ramping up as we speak. Asterisk. The Nikon Z73 isn't just a camera. It's a statement. It's Nikon saying they haven't forgotten the photographers. Who don't need to shoot 120 frames per second but do need. Every single pixel to be perfect. Whether you are capturing the scale of the Grand Canyon, the texture of a high fashion garment in a London studio, or the fleeting light of a New York skyline, this camera is being built for you. It's about the art of the still image, powered by the best video tech in the world. Asterisk. This is the moment where the legend of the Z7 line either evolves or fades. From everything we've seen, evolution is an understatement. This is a revolution. In a compact body? But what do you think? 67 megapixels enough to make you switch from Sony or Canon? Itter. Are you waiting to see if that red color science is actually the real deal? Drop a comment below. I read every single one. I want to know if the Z7iii is on your wish list for 2026. If you found this deep dive helpful, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to TapTech. We spend dozens of hours chasing. These leads so you don't have to. Before you go, if you're wondering which Z-mount lenses you should be pairing with a high race monster like this, check out our recent video on the top 5 S-line lenses for 2026 right here. Thanks for watching. Tap Tech, and we'll see you in the next one.